here's a little bit of a niche video for you today, but one that I hope will help explain the potential of a low carbon and low cost future with heat pumps, electric vehicles, and wind turbines with solar panels all working together. And it starts with a smart tariff from Octopus Energy and an app that I use almost every day. Before I get started, if you stick to the end of this video, I've got a little bit of news that I hope you might find helpful. But first, let's take a little step back. Why does a variable pricing tariff like Octopus Agile make any sense at all? I mean, this is a tariff that is changing costs almost, well, every half hour. Surely electricity costs are constant, or they should be. Why can the octopus vary them so regularly? Well, let's get into a little bit of our electricity system. Um, the national grid is supplied by a lot of different sources of energy. Some don't turn off very often, like constant generation 24 seven, for example, nuclear power, splitting some atoms uh, to heat water and drive a turbine. And this barely varies in output. And when it's running, costs don't vary that much either. It just hums along, splitting atoms, driving a turbine and churning out electricity. But obviously we don't get all our electricity from nuclear power stations. We then have to, uh, we then have some, some generation that can ramp up and down uh, when we need it and respond to when we, first of all, to when we all wake up or to when we get home from work or half time of a football match or breaks on Coronation Street when we all turn the kettle on. The generation that can ramp up and down quickly tends to be the dirtiest generation. So the gas and the coal power stations. We burn more gas or coal, we make things hotter, we create more steam to drive a turbine and we can keep the kettles on, we can respond, which, which is great. But having that flexibility to ramp up and down does tend to come with some cost. And with the variability of fossil fuel prices in the, in the energy markets we've seen recently, that cost can be really painful. We can also use some uh, other sources of electric, electrical generation like hydroelectric power plants that can do something similar in providing peak electricity when it's needed. And in the future, we'll have more and more battery storage or maybe, and a big maybe, um, hydrogen stored to burn in a power plant in a similar way that we do gas and coal today. And finally, we have those inherently variable sources of electricity like wind power and solar power. We can predict to some extent their output based on weather forecasting, but we can't really call for more generation when we need it in an, in an instant. So when the wind blows, we might need less gas or coal power, but we still have peaks that might need to be met by, a, uh, uh, by ramping up in that instant. So I hope that's an okay summary. It's probably way simplified. Our electricity demand is met by a mix of sources. Roughly a quarter of it last year came from wind power, a third gas, a fifth nuclear, and then the rest a mix of everything else. And with the variability of demand every day and the variability of generation every day, the price of electricity is always changing. Low demand, we need, less, need to burn less fuel in the form of gas or coal, the costs go down. High wind, we need to burn less fuel, the costs go down. High demand, when we all use power at the same time, the costs go up. Low wind or low sun, the costs also go up. And all this feels a little bit out of our control, which is where a smart tariff comes in, like many, many of the ones from Octopus, and in particular, Octopus Agile. So Octopus Agile is responding to that variability of demand and of generation to change the prices as the wholesale price of electricity changes. So overnight, when the demand is really low, the tariff tends to be cheaper. And during the peaks of demand in the early evening or when it isn't very windy on a certain day, the tariff tends to be more expensive. And that change in price prompts you to make decisions to use energy at different times of the day which could sound like a faff, but it does have some benefits. And for us, when most of the, the total energy that we use is electricity or comes from electricity, you can really shift when you use electricity to take advantage of the lowest costs. 
So come with me briefly to my low carbon dream of a future. We can charge a car when electricity is cheap, when demand is low or when it's particularly windy. We can heat water in our water tanks when electricity is cheap or, or we might charge a battery when electricity is cheap. And we might ask a heat pump to work a bit, little bit less hard when the electricity is expensive. Doing some or all of those things means that we can shift the highest demands and ultimately means we need less generation across the whole country and we burn less gas and less coal on a national scale. We can reduce the peaks in that demand graph to fill in the troughs and in doing so we can actually make electricity cheaper and cleaner for everyone. The smart tariff from Octopus, the Octopus Agile tariff, is shaping behaviour so that we all benefit. And because we will have some demand and generation variability for the foreseeable future, maybe forever, there'll always be a differential on when it's best to use electricity. And this is where the app that I use every day comes in. The Octopus app that shows you your balance, just the normal Octopus app, it shows you balance your bills and tells you how much you're using. Well, that sets out the rates for the following day after 4 p.m. each day for the Octopus Agile Tariff. But it's actually a little bit clunky and it isn't really that easy to see when the cheapest uh, electricity is. But there, oh, there are other apps that third party independent developers have made that set this out much more clearly. And the one that I use is called Octopus Watch. I use it nearly every day. I've even subscribed to a beefed up version that I pay, pay for each year. So what do I get from Octopus Watch? Well, first of all, it sets out the rates for electricity really clearly on a half hourly basis, both with a graph that you can navigate uh, throughout the day and then each half hour until the end of the next day with new updates, with new rates updating at 4 p.m. every day like the Octopus app. Because I pay for the subscription version, that gives you an estimate for rates for the following day too, which can be really helpful to plan when you're going to do a load of washing. You can set, set it up to help you pick the cheapest time. So if you're going to run a wash, wash that took three hours or the dishwasher, etc. And you can actually toggle a graph to show you the intensity of the CO2 intensity of the grid and how that might vary over the next 24 hours, which could help you pick a time when the grid was cleaner. If you go into the detail of any of these half hour periods, it tells you uh, where the electricity is coming from um, around the country. So when I was recording this, it was obviously quite low carbon with nearly 40% of power coming from, um, from wind generation. And it can also show you exactly what's, well, give you an estimate of exactly what's happening regionally where you live. It looks like most of the electricity that I'm using seems to be imported from elsewhere with a little bit of biomass and some wind power uh, for good measure. And then other than helping you find the lowest cost rates and predicting rates for the next uh, 24 hours, the app can give you some history of how of electricity you've used. So the kilowatt hours that you've used every day, the costs and the race, the rates associated with that use and how you might have saved versus the octopus standard variable rate. You can also go into the detail of that day to see how much CO2 you emitted what the base load and the peak load of your use were, uh, the weather and the fuel mix for that day. Um, so yesterday, half my electricity came from wind, which is amazing. Um, and you can toggle through the days to see how they compare with each other. You can really get into the detail of the impact of doing certain things at certain times within your house. And finally, the app uh, lets you print out certain reports that that gives a summary of certain dates. So it may be a whole month or a whole week or a whole year's worth of dates. And that gives you a summary on what your cost was over that period of time. What was the impact of that electricity use in terms of CO2, uh, in terms of base load, um, it gives you trends on how your, your, your usage, whether it's going up or down over a period of time. And it gives a summary of where you got electricity from over that period of time. And that's it, that's the app, that's Octopus Watch. So yeah, I pay a yearly subscription for all this detail, which is something like £12 for the year um, or £1.49 if you pay monthly. Um, and I pay because, you know what, I'm a bit obsessed with the data and I enjoy looking at it and really working out how we can do things differently. The free version doesn't have quite as much detail, but it is still really helpful. I really recommend this if you're on any Octopus tariff, uh, to be honest, but particularly the Agile tariff. 
it really helps you understand when you should be using electricity for the cheapest rates and the lowest CO2 rates as well. So that's the app that I use to help understand when, when it would be best to use washing machines, the dishwasher, when to heat water with our heat pump and if possible um, when to use the oven if I've got an option although I'm not that precious on turning the oven on. If you need to eat, you need to eat. And because we use a lot of electricity with a heat pump and the use of most of that electricity is for the 21 hours outside the really expensive times with Octopus Agile, as well as some use of electricity during the expensive times. But because we use so much electricity outside the peak, our average rates tend to be quite low. So for the last 90 days over the chunk of the, of the heating season, on average, our rates have been 18.1 pence per kilowatt hour. If we had an electric vehicle as well, and a charger that might respond to variable rates like this, our rate of electricity could be even lower. If we had a battery that we programmed to buy low and use power during the peak, maybe even lower. You can start to see that when we've electrified everything, we can move around when we use electricity to get the best rates. Um, and that's, yeah, that's facili facilitated by this agile tariff from Octopus Energy but it's also facilitated by a smart meter dot sending our electricity use on a half hourly basis. In the future, it may be the case that all this happens automatically. Systems controlling themselves to make sure that we're comfortable and safe, but also ensuring that we have the cheapest electricity throughout the day and hopefully contributing to the whole country using the cleanest electricity every day. I like the idea of that future. And that's it. That's the app that I use to try and keep heat pump costs down. Do you have any apps that you use to help keep your costs down? What am I missing out of? Please do let me know. And finally, if you've got this far, here's some news that you might find interesting or helpful. Um, I do this channel to try and help people uh, with the energy transition away from fossil fuels and to a cleaner future, because I think that's really important but also because I have some background in this world and I hope some expertise that could be helpful for people watching the videos. But the videos on their, on their own are limited. They may miss a point or I might say something that's a bit clunky um, and you may wanna talk some things through. You might wanna ask a difficult question and you don't know where to start. You don't know who you could approach with that. Well, I've decided to make some space in my diary that might, might give you an opportunity to book in a conversation with me. If you wanted to just talk through some some uh, some thoughts with someone else, um, then I would be thrilled to chat. There are no stupid questions in this stuff, and I'm really happy to talk through in whatever way I can. Um, I'm going to put a link below to a site called Calendly. Calendly? I can't really say it. Um, and I'm going to have four slots each week on a Tuesday and Thursday for half an hour each after my normal nine to five work. Um, and before we all we might do social things in the evenings. Um, if you wanted to chat, then please do book something in. I'm not planning to charge anything for this, so please do book away with no obligation. I hope that'll be helpful and I would look forward to speaking to you soon.